Jim, have you guys found any uh, additional information on Justin's ankle? Uh, just what was what uh, was reported yesterday. So no real additional information. Um, today be a day of evaluation and uh, and treatment, and really for everybody. And, and by Wednesday we'll be able to give give more specific updates. Did, did he get an MRI, Justin? Um, I know X-rays were negative. I'm sure we'll do an MRI too as well. Is he uh, is he still in the boots today? I do not know that. Um, other injuries, uh, Rashawn, he, had a, he said he thought it was a strain on his pectoral yesterday. Is that, is that actually the case with Rashawn? Do you have any additional information? No. Like I said, more evaluations today on, on, on everybody, um, treatment, and much better. We'll be able to give, give you much better uh, information when the injury report comes out on Wednesday. And then with, uh, with Joe Alt, um, I don't think we knew exactly what it was like a right leg. Do you have any specifics? Was it an ankle or a, a knee with, with Joe at the end of that game? Um, again, I will be able to be more specific by Wednesday. With, uh, with Joey, did he, um, that hip injury, did he suffer that in the, in the Panthers game? It's, I think it was uh, an aggravation. Yeah, I, I, again, I, I really don't know when, um, if it's connected to the, to the back or um, I assume that it was, you know, but then again, me talking about what I assume isn't, uh, isn't relevant. So again, that's another one I just can't answer the question. I don't know. And <clears throat> we better get much more specific information by Wednesday. Jim, you mentioned after the trade with Taylor that you were going to coach Justin and the backups differently in meetings and game plans and stuff. Just how much did you do that last week and how do you need, would the game plans you know, be essentially going into this week in terms of game plans? Yeah, we've been doing that, um, trying to uh, do that as much as we can to, to um, you know, get that. Um, just be specific for, you know, their skill set. But, um, and Taylor's been good. I mean, he's, um, I thought he acquitted himself really well in the game. Um, checked the ball down, um, you know, made the nice throw over the middle. Um, and has, good, has a good grasp of pretty much, I mean, it's, it's been in steps like we, we thought we would, would be able to do. And it's, you know, he's really, Really got a good grasp of things. Since all three quarterbacks were active on Sunday, you had to adjust the game plan, obviously, but was the game plan with Taylor and Easton the same, or were there maybe some variances in that? Yeah, the, we, we, there were some things we just we weren't able to get to uh, that were more specific for Easton, but uh, weren't able to get to him in the game. Is the, with Justin, is it going to be a, a similar process to – to last week, as far as being out on the, on the practice field, or would you expect it to be more uh, rest during this week? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take that one day at a time. What was your big takeaway from Washington State back yesterday? Yeah, but, uh, thanks. Um, um, the individual play was, I mean, there was outstanding in many areas, Justin. Uh, was 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 definitely one of the quarterback play I thought was really good in the game. Um, guys like Khalil Mack, I mean Khalil had a had a great game. Uh, Christian Fulton, uh, Tito, Morgan Fox. Um, you know, really go kind of up and down the roster, <clears throat> and um, uh, there was some really good play. Uh, team was team was playing well, and then each unit had a stretch of uh, you know. Where the unit really didn't execute, kind of a in a row, you know, like special teams, you know, uh, uh, had that defense, had that offense, had that, um, and that that hurt us in a in a in a tight game. So, um, you know, I thought there was some really good play. I guess to sum it up, I mean, some some really good play. Effort was there, um, and it wasn't our day. Um, they were the better team yesterday, 
and then collectively we all just look at it, you know, where can we get better and, uh, you know, avoid the, the stretch of, um, of, you know, just some criti critical error where, um, you know, we can make it our day. That's, uh, that's really everybody, everybody looking at, each, at ourselves, uh, individually, collectively, and as a unit. Hey, where can we avoid that? And where can we get it to uh, turn our way? Khalil mentioned uh, after the game that he was sort of impressed with, with Bud because he was dealing with that illness during the week, and then Joey goes down on the first play and probably ends up playing a little bit more than he was expecting considering how he was feeling. Just, I guess, what impressed you about what Bud was able to do yesterday? Obviously, had the interception. But. Yeah, yeah, interception. Um, you know, also, uh, you know, I think I think he he played really well. Khalil K Mac was, I mean, he was his dominant. Uh, some 55, 56 plays in the game. Uh, so it was I mean Derwin Derwin the same. There was some uh, some some great 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 play. I thought you know Bud played played good. We, you know Thule same. He had some. Uh, you know, was very impactful on the game. You know, individually look at each guy and go, yeah, that was, yeah, there was the effort was there, the the talent was there, the play was there. Um, you know, really high level. Um, we talked about that drive, um, the Steelers drive. You guys had a few penalties, a couple third down personal fouls. One of those is on Derwin, unnecessary mm -hmm. roughness. He dealt with a lot of those penalties last year, and you know, sort of worked on the offseason trying to maybe change his. His technique, his, his target, that play, without really getting to like the, the call itself, but just you sort of move on from that play, or is there something you maybe could have done different on that unnecessary roughness? I guess, I mean, how do you make sure Derwin is playing like Derwin, you know, while also, you know, fitting within the, the rules? Yeah, I mean, it's, it comes to comment on what, what uh, Derwin's playing, Derwin's doing, keep Derwin doing, Derwin. He, uh, he uh, he's playing. He's he has found that sweet spot of playing, you know, very very aggressively and within the rules. Um, you know, all at the same time. That's what that's what I've noticed. Uh, you know, he is a he is a and he showed it, showed it yesterday. I mean, there's times where he's in the you know he's playing the nickel, he's playing the dime, he's playing the he's playing safety. He's he's making making plays at the line of scrimmage. He's covering in the back end. Uh, you know, he's He's doing everything that <clears throat> that he should and can be doing. And just overall defensively, through through three weeks, like how encouraging is the physicality that that group is is playing with? It feels like they are uh, hitting pretty hard. Yeah, they're, they're, they are. Um, you know, really, really good. And 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 you know, just you know, for a you know, kind of a critical error here or there. Um, we, we, uh, we had, we're capable of uh, of playing that kind of defense you know, that, that that we're showing. So, been impressive. You mentioned Christian Fulton a few times. What, yeah. what, what's the biggest thing he brings to this defense and that he's been showing in the first three weeks? Yeah, he, he continues to be able to uh, to have the the tight coverage on the shorter routes, plus defend the the deeper routes down the field. Uh, you know he's uh, he's really playing at a playing at a high level uh, through through the first three games. You feel like he was emerged as the number one receiver as Quentin has. Yeah, uh, he's playing he's playing really good, really great. I think, uh, and uh, and so is Lad McConkey. Um, don't I mean there's there's starting receivers. I don't the the number one. Number one receiver tag is, um, I don't know, I don't, it's like the number one edge rusher tag or the, I don't know, doesn't, doesn't resonate that much. Uh, you know, everybody running, everybody alert, um, you know, and then, you know, the ball goes to the open man. Um, just with Justin, the process you guys went through last week, coming to the decision to play and, and everything, is there anything you would change about? But I would say, I mean, Quentin is, I mean, I see it too. We all see it. I mean, it's the play is continuing to elevate. I mean, uh, you know, he's playing with a uh, playing with a real, real high level of confidence. He's making making the 
making the catches, making the quick decisions too. You know, his his, his ability to read coverages, uh, you know, going up, he's recognizing them, um, and you know, tons of. The, he's got a very high ceiling, so continue to continue to chase that. It's it's very encouraging. Anything you would uh, change about the decision? With Justin to, to play him or the process that you guys you guys went through? No, um, I think it was uh, I think it was good. The um, you know the, the doctors evaluate they 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 clear or and then you know and with your eye can can uh, you know is he is he able to perform? Is he able to um, you know do what he has to do and be able to protect himself? And does he feel like he can play? I mean all those. All those factors are the are the pieces to the puzzle, and, uh, and I thought he did great. I mean, um, played really good, played uh, played darn near perfect. Uh, it was a heck of a game, even um, you know through through uh, the entire time that he was out there. So um, yeah, the other would be you know no, you can't play. We're going to take it out of your hand. We're going to let a warrior not be a warrior. Um, uh, that that doesn't resonate with me, um, and you know it's it's Justin Herbert. He is he is. Uh, they don't make him like him. They don't make him like him. And uh, I thought he did. Uh, thought he did great. When when Rashawn did go down, I know it was like the end of the first half. He kind of got braced up and he came back in and gave that, that strip sack. When he saw how the protection was sort of early in the. The second half, was there any thought to maybe the situation has changed back there for Justin as far as how, how he's being protected and how much he's going to have to move to maybe avoid taking a shot? Yeah, as soon as, as, soon as I, 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 I saw the, I saw that, uh, you know, wasn't, wasn't the same, then took him out of the game. And just to, overall, they obviously had a really great front, not just the edge rushers, but the interior players as well. How did you feel like... I mean, before the injuries, how did you feel like the O line matched up there, passed for a run game against that front? Yeah, we had we had a we had a sequence where it wasn't that was part of our in the protection. Uh, yeah, we we had a we had a sequence where it wasn't where it needed to be, um, and we had that we had that same same sort of stretch on special teams and same sort of stretch on on defense. So uh, yeah, us all looking, looking together. Um, you know, where can where can we get better? That's where we're attacking. I think having played position at this level and the week that Taylor had, whether it was kind of preparing to play, but didn't know if he was going to play, can you kind of just take us into the mindset of that quarterback room and, and kind of planning for the contingencies and what stands out to you about the way Taylor was able to handle that situation? Um, obviously, you handled it well. The um, the mindset is, you know, it's much better to be prepared and then have your opportunity not come than it is to be not prepared and have your opportunity come. And I uh, thought he prepared himself really well for it. Does the, uh, the bye week coming in, in week five change the approach with Justin this week, knowing that if he doesn't play this week, it would turn into... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna approach it, um, you know, today. Evaluate and um, and and get treatment, and then we'll have uh, you know much more information for you on Wednesday, and um, and take it day by day. Yeah, yeah, I do. Good to be uh, good to be back. And, uh, we, how, how difficult is it for a quarterback with a high ankle sprain? And I, I know there are some skill positions where a high ankle sprain, that really doesn't get worked during the season. But for quarterbacks, just it, like I said, I don't know if you had one during your career, just the process of trying to get it right or how long it usually takes. No, it's different for – there's different degrees to, to – um, to all the injuries that you're talking about, there's different degrees uh, for each each position. You know, um, 
to to get right different different things as you as you pointed out that you have to be able to do and be be capable of doing so not not one size fits all just wondering in terms of quarterbacks I, did, did you ever have one during your NFL career and just what was it like going through it yeah but I mean like I just said I mean they're not all the same mine I mean there's different my my high ankle sprain versus you know somebody else's there's there's di different different degrees to them but yeah, be able to move, uh, you know, be able to push off uh, when you when you when you make a when you make a throwing motion, you know, um, that's critical factors you need to be able to do as a quarterback. Just in terms of offensive line yesterday, mm -hmm. what what made you, what was the feeling more comfortable moving Trey to left tackle and having Jamari at guard instead of maybe just the one change on the line putting Jamari at left tackle? Um, well, we did have a Jamar snap at left tackle, um, and he just had more time on task at the, at the guard position. So how, how that play went influenced you? Maybe that no, I'm saying he's had more, more uh, time on task at the guard position, and Trey's had the guard position and the tackle position as far as reps and, and uh, in, in practice.